So in order to combine multiple documents, you can go to tools right here. And over here, there's an option for combining files, as you can see right here. So let me just click on that. Once I click on that, you have an option to add files. So let me click on add files and let me navigate to a piece where I want to add files from. I'm going to go onto my to to do folder right here. And inside PDF, you can see that there are files that I can choose from. So right here, I have chosen all supported formats right here. And you can see that you can choose more than this PDF files. So let's say I want to combine the lorem ipsum. I'm holding control on my keyboard as, as I'm doing that. I will select the presentation um, and then let me select the tutu word file over here as well. So once I do that, I can press open and it gives me an opportunity to arrange the files on which order uh, it could appear. So right now I want to combine files right here. So if I want to arrange, uh, like keep this onto the left, I can simply right expand this i can also like let's say delete a page if i want to so let me just keep this on the front first and over here let me expand this so let's say i do not want this and this space so what i can do is i can just uh click on this dustbin icon right here i can also zoom it in to actually see what are the contents over here so once i'm happy with what i have i'm just going to go out and click on this document right here expand that out as well contract so I'm going to contract this document. I'm going to expand this one. This only has two pages, as you can see. And let's say I want it as it is. Over here, this is just one page. So in this order, I want to create files. But before that, I want to go into options right here. And you can see that you can select file sizes. So you can have smaller file sizes if there are a lot of images and you want to send it through email. Medium file size, if you want to maintain good image quality, but still has uh, like a bit of compression to it but larger file if you do not want any compression to your image so i'm going to select medium just to be on the safe side and over here you can see that there are other options you can also save it as a pdf portfolio continue combining if error occurs you want to check this on so even if there's some file errors it'll still continue on combining the files and also add in bookmark to adobe pdf i want this checked on because it makes managing files much easier Accessibility is something we're going to see in future lessons. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to press OK. And over here, the other options you get is to add, even add more files right here. So you can even add folder. I'm going to add one more file over here, like book one. And there you go. There's my other file right there. And let's say I want this order itself. You can also view it in a list view, just like this, and see more details regarding it. Let me go back to thumbnail view right here. Once I'm happy with everything, I'm going to click on the combine button right here, and it is converting all the non-PDF format of documents into PDF formats first, and then it'll combine it. So you can see that the conversion is going on, and now you can see that everything has been combined, and this is all part of the same document. And the different page size doesn't matter, as you can see right here. And now if you were to go back to bookmark right here, you can access it from here, you can see that all of the uh, files has been arranged accordingly, just like that. So that's the presentation. You can access individual slide. That's the main bookmark, the other file or a MIPSUM file, tutu file, the book file. There's also like subcategories of the uh, um, of the bookmark right here, so that you can access individual files with ease, just like that. So that is how you can combine PDF by using Adobe Acrobat, uh, Acrobat Pro DC. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.